Nick Perkett has just had a shocking run at Walkinshaw. He's not a bad driver. He's had a couple of Walkinshaw years, and that is just the way it is at that team at the moment. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan Wood came through and everything they thought he was going to be came true. But it's disappointing to think that Nick Perkett isn't the guy. It seems like Nick wasn't particularly surprised that this is what he's ended up with. No one's blaming anyone They've just sort of decided this isn't really working and it doesn't feel like it's going to get better. It's like Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren. It wasn't too bad in 2022. It wasn't great, but it felt like he could at least move the car forward. He was qualifying down the back all the time. You've got parity. You've got the walk and draw problem. He's down the back almost all the time and he's, he's not too bad. He's battling it with all the right guys, but he's 20th in the championship. And that is a gut punch. He came fourth at Talon Bend, but Talon Bend was just happened to be a Ford track that weekend. Then they go to Gold Coast and the parity fixes and all that. And there were a bunch of forwards up there that you think, okay, that sort of makes sense. It's not surprising. You know, it is what it is. Then Nick gets the deal to go to Matt Stone Racing to replace Jack LeBrock. And I really hope that Nick comes in and he just he just comes out shooting from the hip because that's the sort of guy Nick Perkat is. You look in the top 10 and you go, oh, there's Nick Perkett. He's somewhere in the top 10 somewhere. You know, that's just what he does. He just rocks up at weekends, qualifies somewhere in the mid-pack and then drives it forward. That's the sort of results that he delivers. And he'll be with Cameron Hill and he'll be able to mentor Cameron Hill like he'd mentored Todd Hazelwood, Macaulay Jones and Jack Smith. It's probably a good comparison between Nick Perkett and Daniel Ricciardo. Someone who came through who was expected to do a really good job but because of the situation at the team and the way that things were, that driver was not able to perform at their best. I think Nick Perkett has had the right mindset. From the articles you read, it doesn't sound like he's frustrated. It just sounds like he's like, yeah, it's just the way it is. This is just what's going on, and we're doing our best, and we're working on it. And apparently, Matt Stone asked, what the hell's going on at Walkinshaw? Why, why, why are you having such a bad year? Why are you having such a bad time? And he gave them the confidence to sign him for two years because he believes he's still good and they believe he's still good. I I thought the parity thing could lead to some Ford drivers moving to Chevy. And you've got David Reynolds and you've got Nick Perkett. There are a couple Ford drivers switching to Ford and you wonder why. Nick has lucked out. He was one of the best drivers available for Matt Stone Racing. There's a few things that are really exciting for 2024. Will Brown at Triple Eight, Nick Perkett at MSR, James Courtney at Blanchard's, but mm. uh, Jack LeBrock at Erebus. Pretty much that whole chain of of driver movements is the is what's what's really exciting about 2024. And it's always that way. You always go, oh, how's it gonna do? How's it gonna do? And then the year starts, and you go, oh, okay, that's that's about right. <laughs> you know, I'll probably do like a prediction video looking into what's gonna happen. And you never know what's going to happen. But I'm excited about Nick. I'm excited about his future. And I'm excited that he has one. Because certainly felt like for a while, because of the walk and draw situation, he was getting gut punched. A lot of people were saying, yeah, Nick Perkett sucks, he's washed, get rid of him. Put the young guy in because he's doing better in the Gen 2 car. Mate, it's a Gen 2 car, alright? It's not the same. It's Super 2. It's not the same. Just because somebody's doing better in a different situation doesn't mean they're going to do better in that situation. Chas Moss's teammate is going to get Chas Moss's teammate results. Those are the results that Chas Moss's teammates get. Bryce Fullwood was was there. He got all these results. And Nick's been there. And these are the results that he gets. He's been better than Bryce. But just... It has been rough. And hopefully Nick has a good weekend to finish things up a walk and short. Because that'll be good. I'm sure the team are going to work on things to make sure that something... They're going to do their best. And that's just the best they can. You're going to do your best and see what happens. That's just the way everything goes. I'm a Nick Perkett fan, if that wasn't obvious. And I'm excited about him being at MSR and the Camaro. So you got no parity concerns with that. Because there's still a little bit of complaining about, about the Ford not being good enough. It's been a positive outcome for Nick to be at MSR next year. And I'm sure he's very excited about it. I wonder if that's put sort of um, a little bit of a damper on things at Walkinshaw to be like, oh, this is, this is really bad here. But at the same time, it's going to be his last round at Walkinshaw. 
so you gotta be you gotta appreciate it as well when you gotta go. No, it hasn't been too bad being in here with Chaz Master and being in here with a couple of brand new Mustangs and having all the branding around us and having some really good heads with us. It's not been too bad. And when the when the going's good, the going's really good. You cannot forget the one two at Adelaide last year because that was incredible. It showed when the stars line up, that car isn't too bad. So there you go. That's 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 what's going on.